White holes are one of the stranger predictions of modern physics. In a nutshell, white holes are basically black holes in reverse. But since nothing can travel faster than light, it would have to be empty space that was being ejected, which doesn't really make sense. And because nothing can come from nothing, white holes are thought to actually be the same as black holes, just in reverse. So the boundary of a black hole, called the event horizon, is the point of no return. And since we can't see anything beyond the event horizon, black holes are invisible. In 1915, Albert Einstein developed a theory of gravity that has become the foundation of modern physics. His theory, called general relativity, says that gravity is not a force, but rather a curvature in space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. According to general relativity, the only thing that can escape the gravitational pull of a black hole is light. Anything else, such as matter or radiation, cannot escape. However, the theory also says that the passage of time slows down near a black hole. General relativity predicts that just beyond the event horizon, there is a region called the white hole. In this region, the gravitational pull of the black hole is so strong that it pulls everything apart, including light. This means that anything that enters a white hole is destroyed and cannot escape. However, according to general relativity, once something is destroyed inside a white hole, it re-emerges back out again. This means that a white hole is basically a black hole in reverse. Instead of stuff falling into the black hole, it comes out of the white hole. To understand how stuff comes out of a white hole, we need to understand something called quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a theory that describes the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic level. One of the key features of quantum mechanics is that it allows for the possibility of empty space, also known as a vacuum, to be filled with virtual particles that can pop in and out of existence. These particles are called virtual particles because they do not obey the usual rules of physics. They can travel faster than light and they can exist for only an incredibly short amount of time before they disappear. So here's how it works. According to quantum mechanics, empty space, or a vacuum, is really a seething cauldron of virtual particles that are constantly popping in and out of existence. Normally, these virtual particles quickly disappear, but near a black hole. The virtual particles are pulled apart by the intense gravity, and this tearing effect creates real particles that can escape the black hole and travel faster than light. These particles then reappear outside the event horizon and form a white hole. Whether or not they exist, they remain an important part of our understanding of the universe and the laws of physics.